So it has been a very, very long time since we've actually had a real life sneaker event here in London in the UK. But last weekend, that all changed. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T. And today we're gonna to be showing you what happened last weekend when I went to Crepe City. Now this event actually happened in Manchester the week before. London got its second time around. And yeah, I went with a couple of friends and this video is the end result of the day. So hopefully you enjoy it. Now in true traditional British weather, unfortunately it's horrible. It's been raining constantly for the last few days, which does make it a bit difficult for sneakerheads because we don't want to wear our nice shoes when it's raining because they're going to get dirty. So I'm not entirely sure what are going to be going on at these feet. Uh, stay tuned. and you can see it's pretty damn long. I feel like we need to have a tactic to go in to actually purchase shoes. Pretty sure everyone's got the good stuff already, but you never know what's gonna be in there. So let's have a look. spent a last half an hour having a quick look around Box Park, Crep City, um, to see what there is to be seen. And it's so, so busy and it's really loud in here. So I'm not sure whether or not this camera is actually gonna pick up my voice. I really hope it does. But yeah, I mean, we've seen quite a lot of shoes. They all seem to be the same kind of shoes though. You see the same Yeezys, the same Jordans, the same Dunks. And uh, they're all relatively expensive, I'm not gonna lie. Now, we arrived at 12 o'clock, which is the general admission time. People were arriving at 11 o'clock for the VIP, which was a little bit more of an expensive ticket. What's quite interesting is that eBay have actually got an authentication process outside Box Park, Crep City. So anything you pick up here today, you can actually take and get authenticated. So that's pretty good, I like that. Because I've seen one or two shoes here already which don't look 100% legit, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, you never know, dear. We're probably gonna have another look around at some point. I may buy something, I've got money to spend, but at this point, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. City. We've been in for about two hours, had a good look around, didn't buy anything, so a little bit disappointing on that front. But you know what, I had a good time. It's good to see a few shoes in hand which I haven't seen for a long time. And uh, yeah, it's been a good day at the end. Okay, so now it's been a few days since I've actually been to the event. And retrospectively, looking back on the day, you know what, I do have a few minor suggestions for the organizers for next time around because 
it wasn't really as good as I was hoping for. That's me being 100% honest and transparent. First of all, the selection of shoes on offer to buy was really limited. I have to be honest. I went with money with the intention to buy something nice, probably up to about five or 600 pounds, but I saw the same Yeezys, the same Jordans, and nothing too exciting. So I left empty-handed, which is a bit disappointing. Secondly, it was so busy in the venue. It was really difficult to actually get to any of the tables properly and see what people had to sell. Now, I know the location of the event does come into play with this and it wasn't a large warehouse it was a box park kind of restaurant area which they cleared out for the event but you know what it was difficult to see things the third thing i'm gonna have to say which is gonna make me sound really old but the music was too loud it was way too loud to be able to even hear my friends speak i couldn't hear the people actually selling the shoes talk to me about prices it was too noisy and it's not just me because i know i've seen other people on instagram and youtube complaining that the noise was too high and yeah it kind of spoiled the day a bit and i couldn't film as much as i wanted to i know the event isn't for people to film but i couldn't film because it was too noisy the microphone wasn't picking up a load of content that i actually shot but yeah overall i just felt a bit disappointed after the event so i think next time around crep city or next kind of big sneaker event here in the uk maybe just take note about space um, variety and choice and noise yeah, that's it. And on that note, that's it for me today. I've been Matt Rydell. This has been Kings Down Roots. If you've enjoyed my video, please drop me a comment and a like down below. It really does mean the world to me. You can also follow me up here on Instagram. I post a lot of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.